G'day there, in this video I would like to show you the new improved simple wireless electricity system now with controllable amp draw and um, I'm now lighting up 67 receivers many of them are lighting two LEDs and I'm doing it from lower amp draw due to paying attention to the harmonics so let's uh, turn it on You can see our battery voltage dropped there. We're using 235 milliamps. And I'm lighting up most of my LEDs. There's a few that aren't quite lighting up there. Uh, one to keep an eye on is this one here next to these orange to orange ones. That's the most difficult one out of the whole lot to light up. But I'm getting steel garden tie wires even next to the base pancake. They're going quite well. Not many of my um, single wire receivers. That's a blocking diode, protection diode for my transistor. I'm not using a tip 122. Um, so, and we can see our harmonic on the scope there, hopefully. And you'll see that I'm using the currently running on the second harmonic. So the base coil fires, the um, transmitter coil fires, and that causes the larger of the two yellow spikes, and then it's harmonising once, and then I'm firing the base again. Oops. So I'm going to turn it up with these potentiometers here, and we'll watch the um, harmonic change. I'm going to go for the next harmonic. You're seeing some brightness. I'm not at that harmonic yet. Oh, you're saying? Right there. So now you can see it fires. Oh no, we're still on that first one. Silly me. Let's turn that up. Where can you see? There you go. So as I turn that up, we wait for that waveform to go down and catch it right on the back up again. And there's a nice little peak there. And you can see the improved brightness. Now I'll leave it out here from this base coil. The LEDs there. I do have some stuff running under the table. There's three coils under there, all of which are lighting two LEDs. Uh, my amp drawer has gone up to 400 milliamps. My battery's dropping off a bit, but bear in mind most multimeters don't show you the 100 nanoamp, nanovolt range, so. It's a pretty accurate meter there. Yeah, it draws staying reasonably steady though. And we've got nearly all of the single wire LEDs lit up. I think that's the only one that's not going, even this one over here near the transistor is now lighting up. That's the full brightness of these diodes, of these LEDs by the way. And we're getting that from a few of them. Very close too. So let's see what we can do. Well, let's check the overhead range. It's not great, but it's pretty good for three volts, two and a half volts. I can assure you there are 67 receivers and it looks like at the moment there is only one that's not lit up. So let's go for that next time. Oh, well, there's the ceiling again. I hope you don't get seasick. Uh, so I'm turning my potentiometer up and there it is there. I'm now getting about from 100, 110 volts in my base repeater coil, I'm now getting about 126. Amp draw's gone up to 450. That LED has now lit. These guys are all a lot brighter. Everything's lighting quite nicely. Getting two LEDs lit on a lot of coils. Now, like this one here, that's a modified SMD choke with the um, outer ferrite pulled off. 
In my previous videos, that would only work in the very centre of this transmitter coil, and even then only dimly. Now I can get two reasonable, reasonably bright, I'd just call them 30%, maybe 130 and 120. LEDs lit from inside the single wire. Has to be pretty close. And there's another one. It's an SMD choke. Alright, and they light up quite well over here too. They light, now light up quite away from the centre and light up pretty brightly in the centre. And a lot of these ones that are in here, like that one that's fallen down, are actually the um, unmodified SMD chokes and some of them are tiny. And I can get them to light. There we go, that one just stood up and lit. This one here. That is an unmodified tiny little baby SMD choke. Uh, if I can get it in the middle there, you can see it does indeed light up. And there's a couple of those in there. There's a bigger one here. That's the larger style SMD choke, unmodified. Just LED solid straight on. That wouldn't work at all before without tuning this system. Now, anything on the fourth or fifth harmonic? And I do have one more to go that goes a bit brighter. Look, this coil that's sitting up here could be a bit brighter. Doesn't like being too close to that other coil. This garden twist tie could be a bit brighter, although it's not on the best angle there. Some of those could be going a bit better. So we're still under the amp drawer from before, although I should note I am using double the voltage. Now up to two batteries. So let's go for this next harmonic. So I'm going to adjust that potentiometer. I have two potentiometers here. Um, I have a 220 microfarad, sorry, 2200 microfarad across one of them. I added the second one, which is a 1K, um, just to give me some finer adjustment because the 25K was crazy wide adjustment, but you do need the range. So I added the 1K in series to give myself a fine tuner. Um, the diode is something I've been playing around with for a bit. It is supposed to be bypassing both um, resistors, but at the moment it's not. I forget how that exactly hooked up, but that's a return diode for um, negative spikes to bypass the diode. Uh, so anyway, let's turn this out and let's go for this next harmonic. And there it is there. I'm now getting 136 volts in my base repeater coil, which is the really big one here. And we're getting some... Everything's lighting up, more likely to light two lights now. It's just a wider range of harmonics. We've got five, five pulses there before every fire of the transistor. So it fires there, pulses, harmonizes, pulses, fires again, and there's your harmonics. Okay, so just by changing the frequency of that transistor, it changes how many of those we allow to happen. And this is probably at its running at its peak now. I can squeeze a little bit more transmission range and power out of it, but the efficiency really drops off. There's my new baby multimeter, it's tiny. Um, so we're getting some pretty good brightness out of most of these LEDs. And I've now also got quite a nice range. For a 3 volt system. I'd have probably 35 to 40 centimetres there, depending on whether you measure to the top or the bottom of the coil. And quite bright at 6 inches, 6 inches or so. You can even sit it on top of this other coil. So I've got those two LEDs lit off the top one, and those two there. Uh, there's a ready to go penny coil. That works pretty well. Um, a lot of these guys now work further away from the transmitter coil than what they did before. And again, I've got SMD chokes and some of these smaller ones that
just didn't work anywhere before except for in the very centre. They now work in all sorts of funny different locations. And sometimes it is surprising where they will pick up power. It's just a matter of moving different ones around and seeing where they pick the power up. Um, I'm not going to do a speaker run at the moment. If I, need, if I wanted to get the speaker running, I do have to run it all the way up to about an amp, one and a half amps. I can run it up to near two amps before it um, starts to not oscillate anymore, but it's not really worth it. Uh, one thing I would like to show you is if you watch the LEDs, I'll try and get the scope in the shot too. As I wind this down, you'll notice that they all don't all work at the same range. Some go out and then come back. So I'm winding back up again now. And you get this weird... I'm going back and forth a bit here between the third and fifth harmonics. But you'll notice some of them only light at certain frequencies. And going for the fifth harmonic seems to be the go. That's on the fourth. That's on the third. And there's the fifth. And that really does seem to be optimal. Everything lights up really well. The amp drawer sits around the 560, sometimes 600 range if the battery's a bit fuller. It does cost you, it's costing about, with the um, TIP-122 transistor, about 100 milliamps per um, OS extra harmonic that you want to go there. So running it back at the second one, which is there, is a lot more efficient. But not all of them work and not all of them work as brightly, but you can get really good brightness still. You just need a better receiver. Right, that LED is at full brightness, that's just as bright as this one over here. Maybe a bit brighter even. If I move it over there then it lights too, so you know it's a similar amount of light, it's a similar amount of watts that it takes. And I'd like to mention too that all these LEDs are um, 3.2 volt, 30 milliamps, just to get them to light up. They will run up to 60 milliamps for full brightness. I have done some tests, they do actually start breaking over at around 2.6 volts and don't make much light at that point. They need to be over 3 volts to make light and at least 10 milliamps. So if you work out that on the 500 milliamp harmonic, Fifth harmonic here. How many of those that are lighting up two out of my 60 receivers? And the energy on my protection getting emitted off the protection diode. And you work out how much light all of this is. And I've done some rough guesstimations. It's actually pretty good for the watts. For the watts input. Don't forget the ones under the table too. There's three coils under there running. And that's all the coils I've got. I'd throw more in here, but I just don't have them. I'm running out of wire. I mean, I could put a whole stand over this and get another row of larger coils running on top. There's plenty of room under the table to run more under there. There's all around the outside. I can extend these wires out again and again and again and just keep adding stuff and it's Depending on your harmonics, you can reduce the amp draw and increase brightness by adding more appliances. So there's definitely something going on here. This is getting pretty close to the correct amount of um, light output for that amount of LEDs on that kind of power input. So anyway, that's where everything's up to at the moment. Questions and comments are welcome. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. And thanks for watching.